What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. CES 22 is in full swing and there is so much to talk about. Quantum Dot OLED or QD OLED is finally making its debut at CES 2022. With two entries from Sony and Samsung, can it unseat OLED as the top display tech? Let's take a look at each of the TV sets announced by Samsung and Sony. But before we get started, I am Jamoka from Sounds Nerdy, and if you are new to this channel, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any new content. Let's go. LG's OLED displays have been the king of displays for some time now, and Samsung has been nipping at the heels of OLED with their QLED display tech, but is still unable to beat them. Now, with that in mind, Samsung has set out to not only join the OLED crowd, but it is looking to do one better with Quantum Dot OLED or QD display in Samsung's terminology. With Samsung's QD display TV, they are looking to unseat LG's OLED tech by combining the best of both OLED and Quantum Dot tech for a display that has higher peak brightness higher contrast ratios, and brilliant colors. Samsung will offer QD display in 65 and 55 inch 4K TVs. Samsung says its display will be about 25% brighter than OLED. QD display tech should reach 99.8% of the P3 color space gamut. Now, we don't know the price as of yet, but according to Samsung, it will not be a $20,000 price point. Expect something closer to your premium 4K TVs. Now, that's a pretty huge range as some top-end 4K TVs can cost as high as $5,000. Samsung does expect the pricing to become cheaper as the technology matures. Sony is also jumping into the Quantum Dot OLED space with Sony's Master Series A95K. According to some marketing buzz, Sony claims it can achieve a 200% brighter picture compared to a conventional TV. Now, Sony did not clarify what it meant by conventional. Highly doubt that they were referring to higher end OLED TVs of today. Sony is touting the color capabilities of its TV with the new XR True Luminos Max. It delivers our widest color palette and reproduces naturally beautiful shades and hues, claims Sony. Of course, the A95 will have the Cognitive Processor XR, which is an AI-based processor used to deliver better picture quality. Sony's A95K will be in 4K in 65 and 55 inches. And finally, Sony will have a TV with HDMI 2.1. It will support 4K, 120Hz, variable refresh rate, and auto low latency mode or ALLM for short, for all you gamers out there. The A95K will have Sony's new Bravia Cam camera, which mounts on top of the TV via a magnet. The camera can be used for video chat via Google's apps. With future updates, Sony says the camera will be able to offer picture optimization by scanning the entire room and seeing where people are seated relative to the TV. Now, as seen in Sony's 2021 OLED models, the A95K will have Acoustic Surface Audio Plus, which turns the entire screen into a giant speaker thanks to two full range drivers and two subwoofers. There's no word on pricing or availability as of yet, but assume this will be a premium price as I stated earlier. Okay, folks, it is your turn. Join the conversation and let me know what you think about Quantum Dot OLED displays. Can it finally dethrone OLED from LG as the top display? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And a huge favor, please hit that subscribe button. And make sure you head over to soundsturdy.com slash news to get curated tech news that is gathered in one place. Also, make sure you check me out on all my socials. All my links are down low in the description. 
And until the next video, guys, stay nerdy.